Hello. I thought I'd swatch out some half pans today. Um, I got them in the Jackson Hall, which I showed um, a couple of days ago. I've put the half pans into this uh, pink palette, which I just got from eBay. That gorgeous shade of pink. And it's not, um, it was never intended as a complete palette in itself. It's just random colours that I, I'd fancied. Um, and I'd also wanted to try some Winsor Newton paints. I've never used those before. Um, I've also got a couple on here from Jackson's and a couple on here from Rembrandt. So I'll get with swatching those out. Um, this is just this is just a cheap Canson XL um, pad, but I actually prefer this paper to um, quite a few of the other budget lines um, because the texture is more um, irregular. I don't like it when you can kind of see a really regular printed pattern on it. So start off with Linda Lemon. I'm hoping that. Uh, this is a slightly less acidic yellow than my lemon yellow that I've already got. Um, I saw reviewed on somebody's YouTube video that it swatched out to a paler colour. That's quite nice. Very translucent, re-wets nicely. Okay, the next one I bought is Naples Yellow from Jackson's. Ooh, that's lovely. That's really, really creamy. The pans are jiggling around a bit. I've never had it. This is my first half pan palette. The pans are jiggling around a bit. I think I'll stick some glue or something on the bottom of them. Oh, I like that Naples yellow. It's quite opaque, but it's got a couple of white pigments in it. Next up, Windsor Orange. I like the look of this one because it's quite it's quite a cool orange and I was looking for a nice oh yeah I love the colour that that goes to when it's washed out it's very transparent okay the next paint I had is Rose Doré, which I've seen a couple of men a couple of people on YouTube mentioning, um, and I like the look of it. But I saw that it doesn't re-wet as well, which is proving to be true. But I think the colour is slightly unusual, and I'm, I thought it'd be worth it, especially for the botanicals and things like that. Yeah, that's really pretty. It looks like it's going to granulate as well. Oops, sorry, I've been upshot for it. So I have never had many um, cool reds. This is my sheet of watercolours that I currently own. Um, these are all tubes. Uh, an extra one snuck in there. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I've got uh, warm reds, which are more of the pinks really, but not many up this side. So um, I bought myself permanent rose, um, and it's got good, quite light, light fast properties that's what 
Um, that's what I'm looking for at the moment. Oh, that's pretty. That re-wets nicely. Quite transparent. Yeah, I really like that. Now the next one is Opera Rose, which I know is fugitive. Um, but it's such a pretty colour. I bought myself this book recently um, by Irit, sorry if I'm pronouncing her name wrong, Irit Landgraf, um, and I loved her, sorry, I loved her colour palette, um, and she's got a lot of, let me find a good picture, she's got a lot of like fluorescent -y pinks, bright pinks in it. And that just, I just thought, I've been avoiding it because of light fast issues. But when I saw her book, I was just like, oh, they really speak to me and I don't want to avoid them any longer. And look at the beautiful colours in that. Really, really nice. So yeah, I haven't sat down and read this book yet. But um, I'm hoping it will inspire me to be a bit braver. Okay, the next colour I got is Cobalt Violet. Um, this is a bit harder to re-wet. I don't think it has a great colour, a great colour payoff. But again, it's one of those that I think is worth it for the colour. Again, it's so pretty. I haven't pre-sprayed any of this palette. This is all straight from um, Cool. That's straight from just a dry palette. Right. The next paint I'm excited about, it's Dusk Pink from Rembrandt. And again, I've seen this a few places on the internet. Oh, it looks like I've got a bit of coating on the paper there. That's better. Um, it re-wets nicely. It's really, really rich. And I'm hopeful that it will be a nice granulating one. Let's look at that first column then. So we've got the nice soft Wins Newton Windsor Lemon, Jackson's Naple Yellow Hue, lovely and lo lovely and creamy. Very pretty Windsor Orange Red shade. Windsor Newton Rose Doré. Not strong but very pretty. Winsor Newton Permanent Rose, Winsor Newton Opera Rose, Cobalt Violet and Rembrandt Dusk Pink. And you can see it's starting to granulate already. That looks so, yeah, that looks so exciting. Uh, okay. Next up is Winsor Newton's Cobalt Blue. We moved to Cornwall a couple of years ago and um, I'd never really painted before then and I think the incredible landscape around me has encouraged me to want to paint landscapes more. So um, I've included a couple of blues skies and okay so the top one was 
cobalt blue and now I'm swatching cerulean blue. They rework quite nicely. Yep, no problems with those. Next I've got the crazy strong phthalo turquoise. Hot, oh, look at that, it's wonderful. I won't put too much on there because I want to see what colour it washes out to. That's nice. Um, if you look on my um, paint chart of colours that I've already got, um, I've got I've got a few similar to Thalo turquoise, and I've got Snellier's Thalo cyanine turquoise there. But this is a this is a bluer shade. Oh, okay, I've got a phthalo blue there, um, which is no, that's good. That's kind of in between the phthalo turquoise and the phthalo blue. And oh, I'm pleased about that. Okay, next up is Winsor Newton Cobalt Turquoise Light. Just from um, flicking through um, this book, um, I can see there's the old splashes of um, cobalt turquoise, cobalt blue, because uh, it complements this hot pink so nicely. So um, I'm glad I've got that. That's nice. Next up is Winsor Newton's Burnt Sienna. Jackson's Venetian Red. Ooh, that's lovely. Really impressed with. Oh, <laughs> I haven't even been showing you. Sorry. Um. Yeah, this the Jackson's ones that I've tried really went incredibly well, and they're so creamy. They, they're great. Um, next up is Winsor Newton's. Caput Mortem Violet. Yeah, I'd expect that to be nice and opaque. Let's see what that's going to do. Rewets beautifully, flows nicely. This seems a really nice one. And the last paint I've got is Rembrandt's Copper. I haven't tried watercolour metallics before. Um, it's really wet quite well. I was expecting, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to re wet as well as it has done for a metallic. That's quite a good pigment load. That's quite nice. I'll show you these up close now in the second column. So cobalt blue, cerulean blue red shade. Starting to granulate nicely. The super strong phthalo turquoise, cobalt turquoise light, um, Winsor Newton burnt sienna, Jackson's Venetian red, Winsor Newton's Caput Morton violet, and then this is a, the Rembrandt copper. Let me try and not sure if I can catch some light. Yep, 
yeah so put them this way now I think I'm more. so yeah I think that's um I mean they were they weren't met meant to, uh, as a collection or anything but I think they look really nice I'm really happy with those hi I thought I'd just um, have a go a really simple painting just to play with these new colors uh, and this is just a picture inspired by um, one of the pictures in the book I showed you by um, Irit Landgraf, Watercolour Freedom. Um, so I'm just going to have a go at something very similar to that, but using the colours that I've got. Windows down, scattered clouds, smell of spring, no sight. Open road, you sit in close, let's go somewhere far away. Cause if all I have is you, then I'll be just fine. Okay, I'll leave it there. It's only a, um, intended as a very quick try out. But yeah, I do, I think these, um, uh, the quality of these paints is lovely. Um, and the flow and everything that I'd hoped for is there. So yeah, that's great fun. I'll have more fun with that palette. Thanks for watching. Bye.